guys and welcome back to Thames FC, it's me on 20FM and we are we are rattling through these episodes recently I feel like and uh, we should have two quite exciting episodes today and tomorrow as we come towards the end of the season, the playoffs are almost certain, hopefully today we will confirm it or at least get a good understanding of whether we're going to qualify or not and the next time we can see where we place and that will set up the playoffs uh, beyond that, let's hope that happens, currently we sit third in the league table since our last game, our form's been a little bit indifferent but you can see there then seven points ahead of eighth place Temple Hempstead, uh, Dover, Bath, Eastbourne, Borough and St Albans just behind us. All teams have played 38 games, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice balance. Uh, there's a six-point gap between us and Chelmsford, so I don't think we'll necessarily catch them. And uh, the same gap actually applies to Brackley. So no chance at an automatic promotion spot this season. Ruben Mudd has been well in the goals uh, for uh, Brackley, so has played very well. Andy Douglas, of course, still up there in terms of average rating. And uh, as I mentioned, our recent form has been a little bit underwhelming, really. I, I guess every team is struggling because we've not really moved around all too much. Our last games then, of course, came against Dartford and Tunbridge. Uh, it was a 2 one defeat last time out. That went well. And following it up, we didn't play particularly well. A 1-1 against Dover, a 2-0 defeat to Team Solon, and then more recently, a 3-0 win against Dorchester. Luke Bruce, uh, Andy Douglas, and Jack Hallahan with a penalty got us the goals in that one. So today then, Leamington and Bromley to come, and uh, as mentioned, Chelmsford and Aldershot to come a little bit later. It looks almost certain that we're going to qualify for the playoffs, but I thought, let's show you a few more games, get to know this team a little bit better, and uh, we'll see how we get on then. So let's get into the first game by revealing the team. So it probably won't uh, surprise you to find that we're playing a very similar side to last time. System remains exactly the same. Hallett will be in goal. Hebron and Conta on either, either side. And then we've got Pring and McCormack back to that centre-back centre partnership. Hopefully we'll do a pretty good job. It's been a while since they've been together. Uh, Hallahan sits just in front, of course, with Foster and Douglas either side. Bruce playing as that shadow striker. Clark Slocum, Fry's on the other side. And it's got a few question marks. Does Danan make the bench these days over Mark Miles? I guess we'll give him a go. And uh, midfield-wise, uh, Brett Squires has been playing a, a few games for us recently. And it's done... Average to, to, to okay. It's, it sounds like the grass at a Grand National. I think it's firm to good, they say, though. I don't know. I don't really watch it. Don't know why I'm including this bit in the video, if I'm honest. Right, then, Leamington to come then, and uh, we'll see how we go. I think it's... I think it's a, is, it, is it Lymington or Lemington? Lime, Lem... No, I think probably Lime, Lymington. Uh, they are 17th in the table. Not had a particularly good year, so hopefully this is our opportunity to get more three points on the box, on the, on the books, on the bags, on the bed. Where are they? Where are the three points? In the bank. I think that's what we were going to say. In the bank. Yeah, let's go for bank. You can see there, then they're playing a, a traditional four. 4-4-2 and uh, yeah a lot of more regens he looks I don't want to slag him off because there's no need for this Ben I don't want to, I don't want to insult a, another person he's a, he's a good looking chap so I shouldn't, I shouldn't be said I think it's more the tan he's got going on it's the head from Art Attack harsh I don't personally insult people it's not really an insult I used to love the head in Art Attack so leave it Ben it's, it's, it's unfair we could potentially score a playoff place at worst with a at worst with a win today. So I'm expecting nothing less. We'll put a bit of pressure on the boys. We've, we've been raising expectations year on year, slowly but surely. I'm expecting a bit more from the team, so uh, they don't react quite as badly as when you say we, we need a good performance. Oh, look at this! Look at the state of this. Just look at it. Just look at the ridiculousness of it. It immediately puts me in a bad mood, viewers. I think that's part of it. Hopefully, all they're okay. We're playing with wingers, so we should be all right. As uh, we'll make it a little bit smaller so we can see the top of it. Foster plays it into Douglas, who's in a bit of room. Can he find the finish? He can't quite. Let's bring the league table right out. Why not? We've got the space. I mean, we can create an extension with the amount of room we've got either side. Okay, you see, our goal difference actually is, is about the same as everyone else's. Rarely do we get to see it on this screen. Uh, we have one more games than everyone else in in and around us. As it goes back to Powell in their goal. Launch forward, not particularly well, a bit ha uh, haphazard. And now Clark Slocum into Foster finds Brucey, who's coming into his own, really, in this side at such a young age. As Clark Slocum applies the finish, but it doesn't go into the goal. I don't think we've conceded quite as many as previous years. We're not scoring as many. I mean, Bath have got a lot more goals than us, 16 more goals than us in the same amount of games, but I think our defensive shape has been a lot more solid this year. I mean, Tony Hallett's been... Just just hold that thought as I rave about how good we are defensively. Okay, they've missed. This first half has gone very quickly with little action. Um, here we go then. Maybe just before half-time, this is going to be the moment in which someone strikes gold as Hallahan finds Bruce. You can see he drops very deep, but the challenge comes in on him. He was a little bit too deep for my liking, actually. As they race forward, Bayless with a shot, and Hallett makes a decent save. That will never be a T-shirt. Just to clarify now, Hallett makes a decent save. Not a chance. But I don't say it nearly enough. Pig in heck is more likely. I'll put it that way. Clark Slocum and Friars, either side, not having a great impact on the game. And I wonder, I genuinely wonder, if that's to do with the square pitch. Not too much space in those wide areas. You'd think there would be, but really, the pitch is just wide. It's not any longer or anything like that. There's not as much space in behind. So I might consider taking them off. Unlucky boys, things haven't really gone right for us so far. We'll get us a bit more, maybe a bit more assertive with them. There's a lot more to come from you. Believe you've got what it takes. They, they've all they've all enjoyed that. I think tactically, though, there's, there's potential to change things around a little bit here. I'm thinking, actually... I go two up. Oh, did we go 
two up top. But I mean, Christian Fryers can play there. It would maybe work. Uh, he and Clark Slocum could do could do a little job. Mm, maybe neither of them are natural strikers, but I just wonder if both are sort of Trecutista esque figures. I'm going to give them this. This team's mad, but we're going to try it. I'm just going to see how these two do in that role. They're both quite quick. They're both quite agile. If it doesn't work very quickly, Squires Danan, and we'll change things around a little bit. But hmm, I'm just going to try this just for. Just for a little period. I still expect Brucey to be the main outlet in the centre, but now he's got a few targets going for us. Christy Clark's Locum, look, they nearly combined immediately. And they both score goals as well. It's not like they're just crosses of the ball or anything. They both get in on the score sheet occasionally. How far has Liam Denan fallen? Where well, this is what we're doing these days. Anyway, there's a chance for them maybe. Ball goes to the back post. I mean... I'm going to make the change immediately. This was this was option number two, uh, I, and I'm going to make it quite quickly. Bruce is going to play just up on this right side. Squires is going to go into a playmaker -y role, and then we're going to have Danan up top as the advance forward. That header down there is, is outrageously bad. There's another highlight, and my changes haven't actually taken effect yet. They could be horrific changes if we end up being 2-0 down. I mean, I've gone for this two-up-top system with wingers. I've played them as Trek Batistas inexplicably, as they're in again. That does okay. Oh my! If that had gone in or counted, that would have been worrying. We're going to go for this a bit more as well. Attack it is. Uh, it's not too dissimilar. If anyone saw my Leicester series, I know for FM17, we're playing something relatively similar to that. Look how many bodies we've got in the middle there. We'll see if it pays off though. Keeping the ball short, passing. I mean, it, it plays into what we already play. It's whether we can get some more opportunities to actually score goals. As Foster, Danan, it goes across to Douglas, who finds the back of the net. And my word, is that man stepping up when called upon? It's one-one. I'm pretty sure he got us back into the game last episode and well it didn't end brilliantly. But some nicely worked moves from us here. I think we actually keep our calm quite well. I think we might get lucky with a deflection potentially there. Goes across as well. Douglas though with a fine finish. Finds the corner on the net. 1-1. One, one. Come on now then. Can we get a winner in the game? I don't think I'm likely to make any more changes. It's whether this team now can make the difference. Liam Danan, this could be a moment. Now the ball forward from them isn't particularly good. Back to Haller and then the ball forward is going to be flicked on maybe. Squires gets up and now Danan plays it over to Brucey who we know can be dangerous but the ball forward is okay and that's how the pitch is so small. You clear the ball, you're in on goal. We've gone for this possession style though. I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to change anything from this point onwards I think. We're just going to, we're just going to see if it works. I'm not feeling overly confident but I guess we'll see. 10 minutes to go and there's another chance. Free kick launched across the other side of the pitch. A great switch from them. Ball played into the middle now. Hallett gets a clearance on it, kind of. And it comes out to Rabirio. I think, if that's how you say it. Over to Brucey now. If you can knock it on, he can. Foster, if you can beat his man, find Squires. He's got Danan for support. Liam Danan! Oh, Liam Danan with the call! Paul can't keep it out. And Thames make it 2-1. 81 minutes on the clock. A team we should be beating and now we are beating. I think we're a little bit fortunate with the finish. I it might have like jittered a little bit. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Foster, though, plays it forward. It's all about the first time passing from Foster there. Lovely ball to the Danan, whose finish is good, and uh, the keeper is sent the wrong way too. Come on! We can wrap up a playoff spot here. Remember, they did say that, actually, before the game. We can wrap this up. So let's let's get it well and truly wrapped up, and then we can focus on where we're finishing as Brucey making his way forward. A few people have actually suggested this formation as Danan goes close again. A few people have suggested we play this formation. A few, I've seen a few people say, actually, try the Leicester tree and see how that works, and... Maybe you're right. Maybe this could be the future if we ever have to move away from wingers. Maybe just maybe as Foster with another shot on goal. We're creating shots at will now. Come on, boys. This is very exciting. Oh, we've, we've, we've perked up. Hallahan on it, and uh, that's going to be the end of that highlight. 2-1. I'm, we, we, we have gone attacking. I'm a little bit hesitant to change it back. I don't want to... I say this all the time, right? But I don't want to encourage pressure. At the same time, our full-backs might be caught out a little bit as the ball goes out wide, played into the middle of the back post. If he gets a shot on, we could be in trouble. Right, I'm not going to take any more chances. Both central midfielders are going to go on to support duties, slightly more defensive duties. And, um, yeah, we're not going to take any more uh, unnecessary risks, I think is the phrase I would use. And actually, we could be in again here. So many bodies forward. Phillips has gone through the back of Squires, and he's gone. They're down to 10, and you would think at this stage then, this is over. Goes back to Haller. You've got to think, if, you, if we launch this into the middle here, the knockdown will probably go into our favour. He goes down the line instead. Not, not not as useful do you think with this pitch it's never quite over as they are slowly making their way forward this highlight has gone on for quite some time oh the ball back is not good brett squires is on a goal to f oh, f just f no composure from brett there but with time nearly up liam Danan, final chance of the game you suspect with that free kick you look it looks as if now thames are going to win this game three two isn't the score <laughs> two one i don't <laughs> 
not the score. Two ones the score. They had a bad set off. I counted that as a goal, I think. But a good win. And that then does indeed, if I'm not mistaken, secure the playoffs. Now it's all about, in this game and the next game, where are we going to finish? What's going to be our final position? Who will we face? I'm not actually sure how the playoffs work. Maybe we should look into that next episode. I think we will, because then we'll know our placing. Uh, if you know, of course, do let me know. Give me a bit of a spoiler. But Bromley coming up. Uh, you can see there then, third position. Let's just confirm. Have we reached the playoffs? We have indeed. What a season. Again, not expected to be here. I'll show you that, actually, just, just so we can remember. And it's, and it's to boost my... It's made me feel a little bit better. Pre-season odds. We're not good. That's ridiculous. That is outrageous, actually. Because we weren't pr newly promoted. 400 to what? When you when you rank the players in terms of value, I was just curious to see if we were up there. Foster and Day, they're in the top 10. Uh, admittedly, I don't think I've ever had a player in a team of the a team of the, uh, like team of the season or a media dream 11. But uh, what, whatever. Bring me Bromley. Bring me, bring me Bromley. It's a new series. What's that? The 10 man shortlist for the Vanarama National League South Player of the Season Award was announced today. Hold on just one second. I'm not on it. That's annoying. The following candidates are thought to be amongst the front runners for the awards. Uh, Andy Douglas, hello, and Jack Williams, never heard of him. So we've got we've got a player in there. Andy Douglas, I've got one vote and I can't even pick and vote for him. Right, who's the least likely to get it? I mean, is this is this is this correct? I mean, this defensive Warren Be Warren Bentley. Is he ever likely to? Let's let's go Warren Bentley. Why not? Actually, who's had the least player of the match? Charlie Edge. Charlie Edge hasn't got a hope in hell. All right, Charlie Edge. Good luck, mate. If he wins now, I'm going to be livid. By one vote, I bet, as well. For God's sake. Maybe I should have abstained. Not sure. Right, then. Welcome back. Team-wise, I'm debating, viewers. I'm wondering if we should try the formation we played in the last game from the off. Because we seem to have a lot of chances in that game. So, I'm... I'm let's... let's look. You only live one. The playoff spots are secure. Let's let's mix things up a little bit. So Brett Squires is going to come in and uh, feature. People have missed him, to be honest. So we'll get him involved. And then we'll put Liam Danan uh, up top through the middle, back in the side. The people, I think, deep down, you've missed Liam Danan. So when he comes then, uh, we're going to put Wilson on the bench. More such midfielders, the better, really. Uh, left side of players, not so much. Chris Carter, so we'll keep him on there just, to, just in case. And let's get... Oh, do we play Andy Tanoi? Let's put Tanoi on the bench for Scott. Come on, let's live. If you bring him on, it's always an event, so why not? Okay, team is warming up, and uh, let's just... Oh, it's another square pitch. They're playing the, the 4 3, three so we'll get into this, and uh, let's passionately say... Come on, let's, let's keep our run going. Our run. We've won two in a row. They've really got to stop doing that. People get very carried away. Okay, another square pitch, another life of disappointment, but we'll, we'll battle on regardless. Okay, then, here we go. Uh, we're playing at Bromley today. Bromley are down in a 14th position, so it should be it should be a win as uh, Harper puts an early ball in, though, to the back post. Brock's there. Well, misses it. You would think, ordinarily, right, having wide players in this with this pitch, actually, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it more and more, would make more sense, but... For whatever reason, it does... Oh, Liam Danan. I didn't put another... I didn't, I didn't put another striker on the bench, did I? Well, I didn't put another... Hmm. What do you do, then? What's the solution? I don't know. I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't know. No, Ben. I mean, Wilson is... Can play as a striker, apparently, but... Can he? I mean, he's the only one that can even come close to it. So we'll go on then. Support defensive forward. It's what he likes. He's, he's never played there for me ever. He scores a hat trick. He's playing there for the rest of the season. Up to Wilson, actually. He's already... <laughs> There's a sign of things to come today. I mean, in theory, right, we should be battling for as high as we can finish. We play Chelmsford next episode. That could be a huge game. 40 games played. As things stand, if we were to draw this one, 20 wins, 10 draws, 10 defeats. It looks very even. I quite like that. Liam Danan's got injured. <sighs> Liam. So at half time. A very dull affair. We'll just straight back out there. I'm going to get aggressive, though. Not happy with the performance. Most of them seem fired up. That's good enough for me. I mean, later doors, we could switch things around a little bit. I mean, Douglas not having his best game in a Thames shirt. We could bring Day on. We could bring Clark Slocum on. And actually, on the hour mark, that might be something we try. Maybe it was just a one-off. Maybe they just didn't play well in that particular game. I guess we'll wait and see. As uh, Bromley, another shot and goal, sort of. Bruce, he's actually not on the pitch right now, which is not ideal. Uh, the physio, sorry, can we... Sorry, no, no, the physio... It's, it's our physio. He's 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 taking a. He can't be. What if he kicks it in? What if he scores? It's just what it's just trotting off. I mean, we're the play goes on. The, it's over towards the. What is go? Three D. Is that him? Is that him there? Look, just jogging off. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> It's the, it's, the, it's the worst pitch invasion of all time. Foster into Squires, plays it to Wilson, who scores. I mean, that is, that is a, I mean, and, and Brucey just comes back on whenever he likes. It's still, I don't, I don't know where to begin. I mean, the physio is just trying off away from that side. And then we score from it. It goes into Wilson. He applies the finish. He's a striker all along, who knew? It's the worst pitch invasion I've ever seen. It's the worst one. 
Bruce is actually suffering from a bit of an injury as well, and that is going to encourage me ever so slightly more, I think, to bring on these substitutions. Bruce is going to go off. We're going to bring uh, Day on as well and just play this three with Wilson through the middle. It should be fine. I, I actually think this might work quite nicely. We'll, we'll pack the middle out and uh, hopefully have a, a free man on more occasions than not, as Day is actually on it. Oh, it hits Andy Douglas as he goes through. Oh, that could have been a goal. Could have been, should have been a goal, maybe. They haven't had a shot on target yet, so I suspect their first one will probably be a goal. I've got experience on this game. 20 minutes to go, and uh, we've got it in midfield. Douglas plays it out to Day, who's just come on. Should be nice and fresh. Finds Douglas again. He made that forward run. That attacking duty really does push on these midfielders. Speaking of which, Foster, through to Wilson, can make it to... Oh, well, never mind. Bromley's still yet to have a shot on target. Um, there it is. There it is. It's like I, I knew it was coming. Douglas, ball in to McCormack, cleared, and uh, let's just deal with this, shall we, at the back there? Let's just... Uh, no drama, just chill out, just, just chill, no drama, just, I mean, I can't believe he, Hallett, Hallett saves it, Hallett with a good save, maybe it will be a t-shirt. The time has run down though, last chance for them, free kick played in, Hammer gets it clear, or Hamer gets it, I think it's probably Hamer, I say Hammer, because laziness, and there we are then, Thames 1, Bromley nil, and that's going to bring us to the end of the episode, a good couple of wins for us there, passionately say well done lads, good win for us, they all seem delighted, we've wrapped up the playoffs, next episode then, where will we finish, how do the playoffs work, it's so much to discover, and uh, hopefully you'll join me for it, if you enjoyed today's episode, do drop a like on it, if you want to see some more, play the drums, and we'll love with care, we we'll you until next time, goodbye. And before we go then, shout out to all the people supporting over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you again tomorrow for more. 5pm, p.m. Oh, I've messed that up. p.m. Get it in your diaries. Hopefully I'll do this bit better tomorrow.